are at the heart of the Bellarine Peninsula's food and wine country at the Whiskery, which is the very first distillery for the peninsula. I'm here with Russ, the creator and distiller at the Bellarine Distillery. Hi Zoe. Yeah, good. Thank you. Yourself? Yes, well, thank you. We're really interested to know where the idea for the distillery and the cellar door, the Whiskery, came from. Yeah, my wife and I are in Vietnam actually, and we'd, we'd talked about um, potentially trying to make a whiskey. Okay. Um, I had a, an interest in whiskey, she wasn't so keen, but then yeah. we discussed it, and she actually made the comment that uh, maybe we should start our own distillery. We thought it would fit well into the Ballerine Peninsula, mm. and with the way tourism's growing mm. through the Ballerine, and yeah. people are, are really starting to appreciate the Ballerine for what it is. Definitely. Hasn't been a distillery in Geelong for since the late or early 80s, I think. Mm, and never one on the Bellarine. Never one on the Bellarine, illegal anyway. There's yep. probably been a few illegal <laughs> ones, but never a legal yeah. one, yeah. What do you make here, Russ? Well, we uh, make Teddy and the Fox, yep. which is our signature gin. Mm -hmm. The uh, label came from a little adventure our Staffordshire Terry, Terry, uh, Teddy had one day. He chased a fox across the highway. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and uh, survived the traffic. It was yes. Celtic weekend about right. three years ago. Uh, and the fox took off through the paddock over the road and Ted decided to come back home through the traffic again and survived that as well. So it's a lucky dog. We commemorated that yeah. with, the, with the gin. <laughs> it's a great label. Yeah. We are just in the process now of starting to do our whiskey spirit. So we will be making whiskey as well. Very nice. Russ, would you like to talk us through the ingredients in your beautiful gin? Yeah, so Teddy and the Fox comprises of uh, simply six botanicals. So the spirit to start with is a grape-based spirit, which gives a nice uh, smooth mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. uh, any gin has to have uh, juniper in it. Right. Sorry. Without that, it's not gin. Okay. We've um, also in infused through with the distillation process uh, lemon myrtle, coriander, Star anise, tiny bit of star anise, it's mm -hmm. quite powerful. Yeah. Um, orange uh, rind and juice, mm -hmm. and orris root, which is the ground root of an iris. And it, it right. doesn't actually offer a lot of flavour, but it's okay. a fixative, it holds the flavours together. Right, okay. Yeah, and then they've all distilled separately and then diluted down to the 42%, which mm -hmm. it, the drink is at 42% mm -hmm. ABV, and uh, then uh, blended into a recipe. It's nice to drink straight, but um, in a G&T it's beautiful, and we, we do suggest people use um, a particular tonic, which is fever tree, okay. uh, and the fever tree naturally light is low in quinine and sugar. Okay. So it doesn't smother the gin, it actually allows the gin to the really yeah, it present itself. Um, but it goes great in a cocktail too. Russ, when can people come and enjoy what you've made here? Uh, look, we're open uh, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays, Zoe, from 11 till 5, and they can find us on social media, and um, the property's on the corner of Scotchman's Road and Port Arlington Road in Drysdale. Thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely to meet you. <laughs> Fantastic, Zoe. Thank you. So if you're on the Bellarine, why not come and visit the Whiskery? Russ would love to meet you.